Get ready, Memphis in May is returning to Tom Lee Park this year. That is the official word tonight from its president and CEO as the lineup for the Bill Street Music Festival is released. Making a comeback. This year's headliners include the Lumineers, Robert Plant, Allison Cross, and Earth, Wind and Fire. But as WRG's Shea Arthur shows us, as the festival returns to the riverfront for the first time since the pandemic, there will be changes. Oh, As the artwork for the Memphis in May 2023 poster is unveiled, there's a sense of excitement. The festival returns to the iconic Mississippi Riverfront. We, we came with something very big. We wanted to reestablish our footprint back downtown. The festival's president and CEO says the return to Tom Lee Park is important. It's absolutely crucial. Uh, we, quite honestly, five months ago, I wasn't sure we were going to be back. Citing concerns and delays in construction of the major multi-million dollar revamp of Tom Lee Park. But he commends Mayor Jim Strickland for sticking to his word three years ago, saying the festival would return to the riverfront. But notes the events will now be hosted in a smaller space. We've lost about 40% of the space that we typically would utilize for the festival, and that's going to cause a reduction in the capacity for the music festival and a reduction in the number of competition teams that will be able to participate in the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest. How do you navigate that? Well, that's what we're finding out this year. The flat terrain Tom Lee Park was once known for is no more. I asked about the concern of damaging new additions to the space. The, the park has been heavily programmed with a lot of uh, uh, infrastructure, foliage, plantings, and other, other items. Uh, but MRPP is fencing off a lot of that, which further restricts our space for usage. But we've got a plan in place to make sure that the park's protected. It's a major investment for the city. Shea Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. Memphis River Parks Partnership told City Council last week that capacity does not need to be cut by 40%. They say as many as 55,000 people can be on that lawn at any time.